good morning so another day so it's actually day three only of this construction you would not believe how it looks so what do we have here tomorrow's in there with the rest of them does he have a sunblock does he need his hat i think so we're gonna have to fix that for future and this is what 66 degrees looks like for me. <laughs> it's a little um, breezy upstairs, but I'm just gonna show you our update. This is day four. Um, if things weren't happening, I would not be showing you every day, but day four and it's, it's moving, moving right along. So again, second time in what, three months since we've been in the house, our power went out. Um, two o'clock in the morning, I was awakened by, um, beeping. So I guess we said it, we are going to do our solar panels, clean them every month. Um, I have to check my calendar, but I think it's right around a month, but I guess day late and a dollar short because our power was out this morning. So Tamar cleaned him this morning best he could and he's doing a double um, this afternoon now. So second time washing them today. So hopefully we'll be good for another month. And what I brought you here for is dun -dun -dun, day four. So we got our cistern, cisterna over there. Um, we're doing a little different this time. We're doing the cement walls. And we're gonna put two of the 5,000 gallon tanks in there. Um, you know, with our house we're in now, it's just the cement um, cisterna, no um, plastic containers inside. So, it's coming right along. These guys are hard workers. Tomorrow, today's the first day that tomorrow um, has not helped the guys and that's because he had two different things going on today so he's been in there all day um, so this week's been busy for us which is good um usually tomorrow and i are always together so this week i had to go to la paz twice to do my residency stuff that'll be for another topic and i went all by myself um I think that's the first time I drove by myself to La Paz from um, Cerritos. Nice, quiet drive. And because normally if T or Tamar and I are together, he drives. And so this is like a whole new scenery for me because I guess I'm always looking at my phone or I look up for like five minutes, a minute. And then, but now I'm like, oh, look at that. It's so new. Everything's new and fresh. So as the sun's going down, Tamar is cleaning the solar panels. I don't come up here as often as I, I should. So here we are. <sighs> so peace and quiet. We're still getting used to, at least I am, still getting used to um, voices around because as you know, we don't have neighbors, but we have our workers here now. See what we have here. Some more hard at work. Day five. Today is way better than the other days because today does not involve my back. <laughs> and I don't remember what it's called anyway, but anyway, I don't mind doing it. Um, those things are a pain in the ass to dig. And I'm ashamed to say that I'm only in my mid 40s and there's people here even older than I am. And they've been going nonstop the whole time they've been here. Man, I, I got mad respect for them. I did before, but I'm, I have more even now. I tried one day and my back hurt. I went inside with my beer. Now they're putting down the plastic. And from what I heard from the builder is that's going to 
allow the concrete to maintain uh, the moisture so it doesn't escape. If you remember from the first house, they kind of trudged it and it was probably about a foot and a half down. This one is different, but it was, the last one was around the perimeter of the house, whereas this one is all throughout and it has more support now, which is better. Um, I guess it's just a difference in design. You have to dig these trenches by hand. So it's like 20 centimeters between 40 centimeters down. And here you'll see them putting in the pipes. Uh, so that's gonna be one uh, for the kitchen. Then you have the toilet and you have the shower area. And likewise, it's the same. And then this middle area right here, that's gonna be for TJ's um, room. So let's go out and check out the cistern. So for the cistern, that's it. Now, what I will do is I'll make sure I go in there and I will sweep out as much of the concrete as possible. I'll probably do that today or tomorrow. Um, I don't know if they're, they plan on doing that. I know from our first build, you know, some of these things that you would think would get done, it doesn't normally get done. This is day number, I think, five of the construction and it's going along very well so far. We'll go over here and I uh, introduce you to uh, the builder. Hi to everyone. So he's the one that is putting this all together for us. Awesome guy, very clear, easy to deal with communication. He speaks English perfectly. He thinks he doesn't, but he does. So, uh, you know, we're very thankful for him doing this for us. So, all right, we'll get, let the guys go back to what they're doing and uh, I'm gonna go back to work. I don't think they're gonna pay me for time off yet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below.